If I take a bite, I take a bite. Oh, oh we got a lizard, okay. Uh, I wanted to show you why I moved the Argus monitor. So look at the size differences. Can you guys see this? Whoa, don't you dare. Don't you dare bite me. So check this out. Same clutch. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, man, I'm trying to make a video for you guys and this lizard is not making it easy for me. This is the Argus monitor and he is dug in really, really good at the bottom of the enclosure. I had to move some things around. Oh my gosh, these guys are amazing diggers and he is just completely wedged himself in there if it is in fact a he i'm not 100 percent sure the whole reason i wanted to do this video today is because look at this guy he is wedged himself way down deep in there and i'm gonna get bit he will not come out holy smokes come on all right almost there come on oh my gosh oh my gosh here he comes Oh, we got to just outlast him. You got to put a little pressure on him and just hold him. And then he'll come out. Like he tries to go in, but he gets tired. A uh, little pressure, just a little. And then hold him. And then he'll get tired and come out. Hey, there's a Lobo. Hi, Lobo. All right. Come on, buddy. Oh, I just kind of wait until he gets tired. Oh, my gosh. This guy is wedged in. And this is how great they are at keeping themselves in a tight spot. Here we go. Come on, little one. Don't bite daddy when you come out. He's not gonna be happy. He is not gonna be happy. Holy smokes. Now it's good I do this anyway because um, eventually I'm gonna have to seal this up because I, I'm not gonna wanna have to do this if it gets cold. And you're probably wondering, where is the other Argus monitor? And that's what today's video is about, really. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh my God. I know this seems rough, but I gotta get him out. I got to get this lizard out of here. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Got a little claw there. If I take a bite, I take a bite. If I take a bite, I'll get a bite. Oh, easy, easy. This has to happen, guys. Here we go. Uh, here we go. We got a lizard. Uh, oh, we got a lizard. Okay. Uh, holy Argus monitor. Oh, yeah. You're tough. I know. I know. You're tough. I know. Okay. So, heh, I'm going to have to put this whole place back together again. Holy smokes. But I wanted to show you what's going on oh, and why I moved the Margus. Argus. Margus. <laughs> The Argus monitor. Holy smokes, hold on everyone. Oh yeah, you're tough, I know, you're tough. You're so tough, just take it easy. Now he hasn't tried to bite, which is really, really nice. But uh, I did kind of get him out of a really nice situation. So, I wanna show you what's going on. Hi, how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing good. How beautiful is this lizard? And uh, the reason I wanted to show you this video and why I moved one of them into here is because reptiles grow at different rates even if they are in fact from the same clutch and uh this argus monitor here you guys stay there for a second let me get this hand in here this argus monitor is from the same clutch as the lizard we're about to meet let me just go ahead and get what i believe is the female right here oh yeah everyone's everyone's hissing everyone's screaming here you go look at this look at the size difference Okay, it is insane. I'm gonna put her down and then put this over here. Oh gosh, then put you guys up here so we can kind of hang out and see what's going on. Thanks for bearing with me. These videos are an awful lot of fun, but they're labor intensive. Okay, so look at the size differences. Can you guys see this? So what was happening is this dude right here is clearly growing much, much larger than this little female i believe it's a female i don't know and she also has a little bit of marks on her on her tail like this one might have been bullying her a little bit so what my hope is is by separating them i'm going to be able to actually go ahead and 
Get this girl a little bit bigger. Oh, did she whip you? I'm so sorry. Uh, get this girl a little bit bigger, okay? And a little bit more secure in herself. And therefore, I can perhaps reintroduce them or build an enclosure with a door that I'll allow them to go back and forth and at least see each other next week. See, see them, e see each other while in separate enclosures, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, but a lot of bluffing, a lot of hissing, oh, a lot of tail whipping, but I haven't been bit yet, which is very nice. Uh, these guys are awesome lizards, as you know. Uh, and as you can tell, they love to dig little burrows, which this guy was in. But um, gosh, they're so cranky right now. These two little guys, you're so cranky. I know I woke you up. I'm very, very sorry about that. But what I want to do is talk a little bit about reptiles and how they could be from the same clutch, yet these animals will in fact grow at different rates. Now, there's a lot of reasons this could be. Uh, reptiles as a survival, tactic have a lot of babies uh, many of them do that's not always the case with some species like monkey tail skinks and other skinks and things like that but most of the time these animals are going to be reproducing and producing lots of eggs and they lay a lot of eggs and as a survival strategy there's a lot of babies and it's kind of the luck of the draw who gets big fast who's tough and who can survive the longest. And that's why I think many of these animals, even turtles, uh, you know, they'll grow quick. Some grow quick, some don't. Um, there are others that have that dominant attitude who pretty much are the ones that basically would be the most aggressive feeders. Uh, and when kept in a situation where they're together, uh, they can overpower and bully the less dominant creature. So in the wild, these animals would spread out usually find their own home ranges and they would be fine or they would get eaten uh, if they're not aggressive enough, not smart enough to hide and not taking advantage of every opportunity to eat. And that's what this guy's been doing. I'll put food in there. He goes right for it. This one's a little shy. So as a way to kind of keep them healthy and happy, I separated them. I have the cage space. And so now I've been feeding this female on her own if it is in fact female i don't know uh it could be a male it doesn't matter male female it doesn't matter in reptiles one could be dominant or not um so basically whoa don't you dare don't you dare bite me uh, oh gosh uh, easy does it so anyway they don't understand english i've come to find but um basically guys you want to make sure you keep an eye on that when you're keeping animals in more of a community setting or in pairs uh this way you are up on any kind of potential problems that might manifest. In fact, when keeping monitors, sometimes if one is more dominant than the other and grows quicker, they'll wind up eating the less dominant lizard. So very important, if you notice something going on, you wanna separate them and you wanna make sure that you don't cause any undue stress and harm to the more, uh, to, or to the less dominant animal. So good grief. So that's it there. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna put her over here. It's wake up time, kid. There you go. But she looks good. She's happy in here. It's been a few days and uh, she is eating. So let's go ahead and re reconfigure that enclosure, okay? Because I don't want him to just dig back into that hole. So I got to rearrange this place. Oh, holy smokes. There's the Cuban iguanas hanging out over there. Oh yes, I know, you're tough. Really, really tough. Hold on one second. Get you all sorted, la. Whew. Such a yeller. Call you old yeller. All right, so I've got some work to do. So let me see. I'm going to have to put this animal in some kind of uh, container while I do the work so that I don't lose the animal or anything like that. So give me a second. I'm going to put this animal up and I'll be right. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, well, we have filled this whole area with gap filling foam and I covered it up with dirt. There are rocks in there, big slate rocks, um, much like this. So basically, I've sealed that off in hopes that he won't be able to dig through it anymore. We'll have to wait. I want this to cure so I can fill it up with more mulch and sand and stuff like that. So uh, I don't want him to get anything on him. So I'm gonna leave him out of here for a little while, for a few hours until this, this gap foam here goes and uh, does its thing. So uh, yeah, so there you have it, everybody. Um, something, hey, psst, get out of there, bud. Just something for you guys to check out. Now, I did wanna show you one more thing uh, in talking about size differences amongst reptiles. Uh, let's head on over here and we're gonna look at our snake neck turtles that I got just a few months ago. 
All right, so here are the snake necks. Look at that. Oh, well, <laughs> they're so fast. They were sunbathed. And let me see if I can grab. There was one in particular that I'm looking for who I think you guys will be surprised uh, just at the difference in size he is from everybody else. So I'm just going to have to reach in there and grab around because it's just the way it is. Oh, I got a turtle. I got a turtle right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is him. Okay, so we got this guy, right? He's pretty, he's looking good. These guys have been eating their Fluker River Shrimp uh, and everyone seems to be eating fine, but there's always a wild card in the enclosure, you see? And so what I'm doing right, oh, there goes one. It's not, believe it or not, these, this is not easy to grab. Okay, oh, well, here's a little Amboinensis. How cute is that little dude? Pretty cute if you ask me. I'm partial. But look at how amazing these snake necks are. Such cool little turtles. Up oh, here we go. Okay, so check this out. Same clutch. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? This is crazy, right? Same clutch, same species, but look at the size difference between these two, okay? So what that tells me is that this snake neck turtle below is just a more aggressive eater. And in my opinion, uh, this would be an animal that would have the best chance of survival in the wild because it's an aggressive feeder. Maybe it hides better. Maybe it just knows how to get food. Um, you know, it is just the way it is. Now, reptiles, like I said, they have a lot of eggs. They have a lot of offspring. And most of those offspring, their job is to feed other animals. So there you have it, everyone. Uh, some really interesting size uh, changes amongst these animals. These are really cool, these snake necks. I love them. I, I do count them. I watch them eat. They're all eating but for whatever reason this dude here is just what i would consider a dominant animal and is just a real uh programmed in his uh, body just to grow quick grow strong and be one of the big guys are you gonna bite me no all right there's a little snake neck awesome now the rest of them are all around that size this guy here he's an anomaly and that just leads me to believe he'd be the tough guy out there in the wilderness, wherever he may be in Papua New Guinea. Let's get this little guy going. Bye. But how cool is that, huh? They're all doing great. I just wanted to show you a little bit about different sizes and what that means for reptiles. So you may have a couple of reptiles that you've had. You bought them at the same time. They're the same size. You got them as uh, juveniles or hatchlings. And all of a sudden, one is getting bigger than the other. Uh, it's nothing you're doing. It's just the way some of these animals are programmed in their DNA. They just get big quick, they're the survivors, and it's up to us when we take these animals in captivity to keep an eye on that so they don't bully the other ones. And we can get the smaller ones over the hump. It is possible. So don't worry about it. Keep on trucking, keep on taking care of animals. Lots of videos on this channel, go check them out. I have got to get cleaned up because believe it or not, I got an appointment I gotta get to. I'll see you guys all soon. Thanks for watching, bye.